So I've shown off some of these before, uh, but there's some new ones that came out recently, and I want to sort of show them off a little bit as well. Uh, this is the, well, these are more Metal Earth models from Fascinations, and these are based on uh, Star Wars The Rise of Skywalker. Uh, so this is the First Order Tread, uh, tread Speeder. We've got Zori's Y-Wing Fighter. Probably one that I think is one of the coolest is the Sith TIE Fighter. We've got Dio and one of my very favorite ships, Resistance A-Wing Fighter. Gotta love that A-Wing. I wish they'd do a B-Wing. Why they not do a B-Wing? Anyway, <clears throat> I'm going to build these up and then we'll take a look at them and see what we think. See you soon. So now that I've finished building all five of them, let's take a quick look at each one and see what we think. So the first is, of course, the droid Dio. And he's cool. He's cute. Uh, I like the fact that it does look like it, it's sort of just like a wheel with a uh, little floating body attached to it. The head's cute too. I do kind of like that. And I dig the little antenna that look like kind of hair. And there's a surprising amount of detail to this. Uh, I like the way that it's painted, which is very cool. Um, we'll certainly see like what Dio's whole deal is uh, when the movie actually comes out. But yeah, pretty cool for a first little mini model. Second is the uh, First Order Tread Speeder. And the cool thing about these ones is that aside from Dio, they're not actually attached to the stand. Uh, so you can actually take them off and take a look at them, but it's not a bad model. There's lots of detail and little tiny pieces here. Got even got like a control panel up front, all the way back here to the exhaust. It's uh, surprisingly, uh, <laughs> I would say, uh, heavy on the front. It it reminds me of like the chainsaw uh, from Gears of War on the uh, on the chain gun, uh, but not bad. I, I do like it. It's not my favorite out of a lot of them, but I'm a fan of like this part. But yeah, so that's that bike. All right, and next. We have a really cool one. This is the Y-Wing, and again, not attached to the base, so you can actually take it off and take a look at it. Uh, I dig this. The Y-Wing is a cool ship, and I like this representation of it. Um, this was surprisingly difficult to build just because of this bit right here. Uh, as you can see, there's lots of little intricate pieces in there <laughs> it took a lot of time to get that all done uh the wings themselves or i guess you could say the engines are pretty cool i do i do dig those a lot um it works like it does actually really work and i dig it <laughs> i like the fact that there is actually like a cockpit and they do put like a seat in there and you even have like a gunner station at the back on the top. Um, so it's not exactly like the original Y-Wings. These are, I guess you could say, upgraded to a small degree. But it's still really cool. So let's move on to the fourth one. Fourth one is really neat. And this one is like the first, like, well, I would say major departure from... Uh, anything that has existed previously, but this is the uh, Sith TIE Fighter. It is kind of mean looking. I like the triangular uh, wings or solar panels and just like the double wing pattern of it. It's just kind of neat too. I was kind of wondering how it actually got built, um, but it makes sense now that it's all put together. Uh, there is actually like a gun in between there. I like these sort of like, like air scoops. <laughs> the actual uh, meatball portion of it is pretty cool too. It's a lot thicker with its body frame, and I dig that. Uh, it looks kind of like a like Darth Vader's Tie Fighter. 
obviously not because it doesn't come back to like a huge like thing in the back there but it looks it, that's what it kind of reminds me of uh but it is really cool i dig it even got your your two laser cannons on the back or on the front bottom there and this one was a lot of fun to build this one took some time as well and you even got your twin ion engine in the back uh it's it's definitely neat i like it very cool can't wait to see these in action And last but not least, probably my favorite out of a lot of them is the A-Wing. Uh, this is, again, a modified version of what would be like a classic Star Wars ship. It actually has uh, a cockpit in there with two seats, which I think is new. Uh, the guns are a little bit different, and then the engines themselves are a bit different from what they would have been previously where the engines would sort of like end here have a gap and then have these rings these sort of like go all the way back so i'm wondering if they have like more power to them but uh it's very cool i like the shape of it it went together very well i'd say that the only thing that i was a little bit disappointed with were the uh, actual side cannons they're a bit they're a bit floppy <laughs> um the body of it went together better than it had any right to uh, compared to like other vehicles that you build like a top and bottom side for. Uh, I was actually pretty happy with the way that it went together. And the fact that it has like the look and feel of an A-Wing like it should with basically just like a very sleek look to it. These two huge tail fins in the back. Uh, it's definitely very pleasing to the eye. Uh, like all around it's a very good model and these are a lot of fun uh, the entire pack on Amazon is like $69 I think which if you round it out to the fact that these are like $16 each it's not a bad price you do save a little bit of money on them uh, I definitely really probably only go for like these three if I was to pick anything but as a set they go well together and these will make it a good addition to my desk but let me know what you think is like your favorite out of all these and yeah we'll see you guys later bye bye